11.14. In an experiment on the specific heat of metal, a 0.2 kilogram block of the metal at 150 degree Celsius is dropped in a copper calorimeter of water equivalent 0.025 kilogram containing 150 centimeter cube of water at 27 degree Celsius. The final temperature is 40 degree Celsius. Compute the specific heat of the metal. If heat losses to the surrounding are not negligible, is your answer greater or smaller than the actual value of specific heat of metal? Now see, mass of metal, that is 0.2 kilogram. Temperature of metal, 150 degree Celsius. Mass of calorimeter, that is 0.025 kilogram. Mass of water, that is 150 gram, that is 0.15 kilogram. Then temperature of water, that is 27 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now, temperature T, the final temperature, that is 40 degrees Celsius. We want to calculate the specific heat of metal. Now see metal piece that is at 150 degrees Celsius, right? Water and calorimeter that is at 27 degrees Celsius. And final temperature of the system that is 40. It implies that heat is lost by metal and the same amount of heat is absorbed by calorimeter plus water, clear? So first of all, we can calculate heat lost by metal, which is equal to heat gained by calorimeter and water. So delta Q, that is mass of metal, specific heat of metal, delta T, okay? So here, the same one is absorbed by, or we can say gained by calorimeter plus water. So mass of calorimeter plus mass of water, specific heat of water, into delta T dash. Now see, mass of metal 0.2, specific heat of metal SM, delta T that is 150 minus 40 because initially the metal is at 150 and finally it is at 40. Mass of calorimeter 0 0.025, then mass of water 0 0.15, specific heat of water, 4186 delta T dash. Initially, calorimeter plus water was at 40 degrees Celsius. Finally, it is at 27 degrees Celsius. So you will get the specific heat capacity of this one. Clear to all of you.